guys, Jelaine here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I will be showing you around my room. Whee! <laughs> Upon entering the house, you get to see na kagad an overview of the whole place. And you're now in my Genkan area. All Japanese houses has this Genkan area because anyone or everyone who enters the house has to take off their shoes first. That's a way to show respect and that's also a way to keep the house clean. Then, um, over to your left. I have this um, cosmetics or toiletries area. So these toiletries are what I use before coming in and going out of the house. And I also have here uh, this Japanese doll which they call a uh, Daruma. So this one is meant to mean like fortune and good luck, prosperity. So yung purpose nito is kunyari ako mag-wish ako and then I draw one eyeball and then pag nagkatotoon na yung wish na yun, i-complete ko na yung isa pang eyeball. So complete na yung mukha. So I have this area for my keys and dito ko rin pinaplace yung ID ko and uh, my train card. And then this one is a like brochure from Tiffany. Wala lang. Nagandahan lang ako dun sa color. And outdated na siya kasi Christmas pa siya. Pero, yeah, I just keep it there. And then dito din yung mga bills ko. So, guys, adulting. Adulting is hard. And then, just like, para lang maganda yung welcome or mag-welcome sa guests ko pagpasok nila ng room. And it's something na nakaka-brighten up ng day ko. I have a photo here. Photo album of me and my boyfriend. Then this one, I just put it here kasi wala lang, parang hello lang din sa mga guests na papasok. So this is a tum, tum that we got as a gift. As you can see, meron din akong mga random toiletries dito. So I have my alcohol, body oil, and um, contact lens solution. And dito ko rin nilalagay yung um, extra toilet papers ko. Um, a common theme in my house is that there are randomly placed objects kasi dun lang may space. I didn't really take the time na to decorate this house kasi alam ko naman na hindi ako magsistay here for long. So, yun. Hindi na talaga ako nag-effort mag-decorate. Kung ano lang meron ako, yun na lang yung wina work around ko. So, yan lang yung space na meron. So, dyan ko ilalagay. Or ito lang yung things na meron ako. So, kahit hindi sila nagko-coordinate or hindi sila matchy-matchy, um, okay lang. As long as it's functional. Yun naman yung important for me. Um, as of the moment. Under which all of these are sitting, I have my shoe cabinet. Well, let me open. It's actually a pretty big uh, shoe cabinet for one person. And with the amount of shoes that I have, hindi talaga siya, hindi ko talaga siya mafefill out. So, I use the shelves, the last few levels of the shelves, as storage then. And then for like boots na masyadong mataas, or like uh, things or shoes that I wear on a daily basis, I just leave them out here. So yes, yeah, so that's my shoe cabinet and reception area. And then, um, about face lang tayo. Pagka about face natin, you can already see my laundry area. So it's typical laundry area. I just have this tension rod. Kung saan ko hinahang yung um, detergent ko. What I use is this... Um, uh, laundry pods or detergent pods from Ariel. Sobrang bango nito guys. Favorite ko siya. And ang dali lang niya gamitin. And then dito ko din hinahang yung um, plastic ko na extra plastic and my umbrellas for drying. So that's my laundry basket and my washer. Washing machine. So this one is actually an old model. I got this second hand off of Craigslist and it's an automatic washer dryer. I have my IKEA mobile shelf. I think I got this uh, from IKEA for 
around 2,000 yen, if I'm not mistaken, or lower. So this contains all my laundry things and like my cleaning materials. And then since my space dito na perfect between this wall and this area, dyan ko na rin nilagay yung vacuum cleaner ko. So perfect kasi hindi siya nakaharang. So yeah, that is my laundry and cleaning materials area. So just two steps or three steps ahead, nandito na tayo sa kitchen area ko. So may ilaw din to and exhaust. Wait, let me just turn it on. There. And then, okay, so I have uh, three shelves, actually two shelves. So the first one is where I keep my cutleries. Nandun sila sa container na yan. That one I got from the Daiso store. And then, like, my mugs and my cups. And then the next shelf is where I keep my plates, my bowls, and uh, goblet, and then coasters. This is a drying rack. Siya. Uh, it came now with a unit. Itong sponge uh, container ko, I really like it. Kasi yung sticky thing niya sa likod, sobrang strong. The first time I placed it here, never na siya nalaglag. So, I really like it. Tapos, since malayo siya from the sink, it really helps, like, dry out my sponges faster. So, nagiging less prone to bacteria. Yung kitchen, good enough naman siya. Um, my burner and my sink. Pero when you cook or you prepare your food, you realize mo na kulang talaga sa space. So what I do is uh, I put this tray on top of the sink para maging working area na din siya for me. And then, yeah, I keep this uh, milk carton right next to my burner or to my cooking area kasi this one is where I store my dirty oil. And then under it, is like storage na lang for my pots and pans and other like kitchen stuff pa. So yeah. And then this one right here is an another sticky um thing na may hook. So I got this from Daiso also like a pack of four for 180 yen. And then I usually just hang a plastic bag here and then yun na yung nagiging trash bag ko. So there, that's my kitchen area. And then, right next to my kitchen, I have my microwave and my fridge. So, this is from my friend's wedding. Hi, Gem and Angel. And then, inside, again, since I rarely cook, I have nothing in my fridge. I only have butter, uh, my tea bond, um, a bottle of Coke, water, milk, apple juice, water, uh, some beer, and then, of course, my essentials, which are my lipsticks, <laughs> lipsticks, and my um, foundation. So that helps extend the shelf life of my lipsticks and my foundations. Inside my freezer, wala din masyado. I just have like ice and this mochi. So guys, if ever you're in Japan or in Tokyo, I recommend you to try this mochi. Super sarap niya. Kahit yung plain lang, kahit yung wala ng chocolate sa gitna, masarap pa din. Okay. So next to my fridge area and my microwave area, I have my shelves. So itong shelves na to, they're the only ones I have inside this house. So... Wala silang theme. Randomly placed. Kung ano yung pwede kong store dyan, yun yung nilalagay ko dyan. So, over here, let's start with the steel um, shelf. I got this from Facebook. I think secondhand. Um, Motanay, I think. So, libre. So, on the top shelf, I keep the things na madalas kong kinakain or iniinom. And then, this one is our cold brew maker. Hindi pa ako nakakabili ng beans. So, wala. Nandyan pa siya. Pero usually, what I do is, I, meron siyang filter eh. So, bibili ako ng beans. Lagay filter. Tapos, nasa ref na lang siya. Then, under that, I have my rice cooker. And then, my lunch box. Which is free from, like, buying beer. And then, underneath, I have my extra kitchen towels. Blender na nasa box pa. Again, kasi, hindi ko pa siya nagagamit. Okay, so, moving on to the other shelf. So, this one I got naman from Ikea. I think also less than 2,000 yen. This is one of my favorite purchases kasi sobrang ganda niya and sobrang functional niya. 
over at the top shelf, this is my uh, school supplies area. So, nandiyan yung pens ko, scissors, tape, and stapler. Dito ko na rin tinatago yung, or kinikip yung cotton buds ko. And my electric kettle, kasi again, dito lang yung may space. And I also have my Google Home here. I can't connect to your Wi-Fi network. Gagalit siya. You can connect to Wi-Fi from your Google Home app under devices, then set up. Okay. On to the next level. And dito yung mga sauces ko. And mga pangluto. Grabe to. Naka-tape pa from when I moved here three months ago. Yeah, galing pa to dun sa lumang house namin. So I have this um, area for that. Next, uh, kasi wala pa ako malagay, so random things lang. On the last level, I have uh, this one, which I think I also got from IKEA, pero meron to sa Daiso. Eh. Ano lang siya, dagdag storage, para mas um, ma-maximize mo yung space. Uh, this one is Patron. I got this as a gift from Justin's dad. Hindi ko pa naiinom kasi paano ba? Paano ko ba uubusin mag-isa? Then some containers. This one is my nail care set. So, I have my LED light and the uh, tools, nail care tools. And then, over here, I have my IPL, portable IPL or personal IPL machine. And then, this one is just random things. Actually, mga magnets to that I'm supposed to put on the fridge, pero wala lang akong time. So, I'll get to that maybe soon. So, there. Those are my shelves. And then also here is this uh, doorbell. My unit is on the sixth floor. So ito connected to sa baba sa pinaka main door. May ano kasi doon eh, parang keypad. So input nila yung room nung gusto nila puntahan. Kunyari for me, like 601. And then magko-call yun dito. So makikita mo dito yung tao sa baba. And then you can press this to talk to that person. Or you can press this to open the door for him. So right across my kitchen and my fridge and microwave area, I have my uh, toilet. So my toilet is a typical or a unit bath is what it's called. Um, unit kasi nandito na lahat sa isang maliit na space na to. So guys, kita niyo na kung gano'n siya maliit. Abot kamay ko talaga. Abot ko. <laughs> Awat kamay ko yung walls pag nasa loob ako. So, ganun siya kaliit. There's a shower. There's a tub. May sink. May area where you can hang your lufa. May mirror. And may toilet. Tapos, meron ding uh, towel rack. And merong toilet paper holder. Tapos, may area pa sa likod where you can keep your cleaning materials. Toilet cleaning materials. Which I do. Nandun. Tapos, meron ding area for your toiletry. So, yeah. Nandun sila lahat. I think, very, very perfect na siya for um, everything that you need from a bathroom. Next is my um, dresser and study area. This is where I work. I edit and then laptop ko and where I put on my skincare and my makeup. So yan. And since yan na rin lang yung only decent table ko sa house, generally rin ako kumakain in dinner. Lunch, whatever, basta din ako kumakain. So desk I got from IKEA, the chair I also got from IKEA and then the mirror which is part of the dresser and study area. This full-length mirror I got second-hand off of Craigslist. 500 yen. On top of my dresser, I just have my skincare, um, makeup inside here, and then like the things that I usually use. So, marami sila. And then inside these drawers, I oh, I have my personal stuff. Yes, personal stuff and um, makeup again. <laughs> Right across that is my studio area. So this is where I film my videos. So yan yung background ko, yung white wall. And then dyan ko nilalagay yung chair ko. Dito na lahat ng kailangan ko. So the ring light, the tripod, and yung mga cameras ko and other accessories and dun sa bag sa loob. And then um, right next to it is my closet. 
So this is what it looks like. So typically what comes with a unit dito sa Japan, yung closet na units, bare sila. So meron lang isang rod or isang rack doon. And then you have the freedom to decide or to design yung layout na gusto mo. Pero madali lang naman kasi very accessible naman makabili ng mga um, storage materials or storage things dito sa Japan. Merong Daiso, Ikea, Nitori. But for me, I got this from a friend. My friend gave this to me. And then these two, uh, Justin and I bought uh, for our old home. So, dinala ko na rin siya dito. And then this one I got from Ikea. Yun, so perfect naman siya. Natuwa naman ako na yung nakuha kong um, plastic drawer and yung drawers from our old house as well as yung Ikea na to, naging uh, perfect yung layout niya kasi saktong-sakto yung sizes nila. Yeah, so that's it for my closet. And then, um, sa tapat ng closet ko, I have my bed. So this bed uh, came with the unit. It's a single bed. Yun, nothing much to say about it. Pero yan siya. Tapos I have there my humidifier. And then yung ilaw din pala dito guys. Super, ano siya. Amazed na amazed ako. So this light came with the unit and meron siyang string. Um, malapit siya sa bed na area kasi usually pag kunyari matutulog ka na, gusto mo nang i-turn off yung light pero andun kasi yung switch all the way there. So malaya diba, tatayo ka pa. So meron ito. So you just pull it. Tapos yun na, pwede mo i-off yung ilaw. Amazing diba? <laughs> And then behind my bed, I have my makeshift storage area. So, sinadya ako talaga sila na ilagay behind the bed kasi as you can see earlier, pagpasok mo ng door, kitang-kita mo na kaagad yung overview ng buong place. Itong area na to, since nasa likod sila ng bed, hindi kita. And perfect siya kasi hindi kasi siya visually pleasing. Ginagawa ko na rin siyang side table. So, as you can see, nandiyan yung iPad ko and a uh, pocket Wi-Fi. And itong Tiger Balm for neck and shoulder pain kasi tumatanda na tayo guys. <laughs> Nakakainit talaga siya nung muscle around your neck area. Especially for me na everyday nasa laptop or nasa harap ng computer. So yeah, very effective to. And then I have my multi-port charger. So yes. So ginagawa ko nila siyang side table area. But basically what's here are the boxes of the things that I plan to take home with me when I go back in the Philippines. So, for example, this monitor, and then this one is uh, the box ng cold brew maker ko kanina. And then I have my laptop bag there. So, there. And then, right across it is this uh, rack, tension rod rack that I got from my friend. Libre lang yan. As you can see, yung hanger ko, random na rin sila kasi naman ako lang yung iba. Yung iba binili ko. Pero most of them, yun nga, minana ko na lang. Yun. Very nice tong um, rack na to. Very functional siya. And talagang nakakatulong siya i-maximize yung space. Kasi otherwise, wala na akong magagawa dyan sa space na yan, di ba? If not for this rack. So, yeah, I love it. So, over at the top shelf, I have my bags there and my hat. My hats. And usually, itong hat na to, I put it on top there. But since ginamit ko lang siya today, siyang ko muna siya sinabit. So, I have my coats. Some tops there on the middle. And then, sa bottom, um, I have books. My Japanese books. Yung box ng phone ko. My blower. Then, this one is my curler. So, these are books again. This one is my hand mask. I bought this from the Nail Expo. Those are just some cables and wires. And then scarf. And then this anello bag from Justin. So scarf. And then, yeah, again, as mentioned earlier, may mga, to maximize the space, um, may mga randomly placed objects ako. So this box is like my storage box. Hindi na ako nag care to buy a storage box kasi again, I'm not staying here long. So ginamit ko na lang yung cardboard box that I used when I moved from my old house to this house. So this one is where I store. Let's go in that This one is where I store my toiletries and makeup, as it said there. So these are the items that I haven't used. Mga bago pa to, and plan to use 
while I'm still here. So, yan sila. This is where I keep them. And then, itong box na to, uh, mineral water. Kakadating lang nito kanina. Eh. So, this is a box of nine bottles of mineral water uh, for drinking. Generally, pwede naman inumin yung tap water dito sa Japan kasi drinkable naman siya, potable. But, uh, I don't know, since moving here, yung water kasi dito medyo less ang kalawang. Kaya, yun, I started buying water. Kasi, wala lang, health reasons, diba? Right beside my rack, where I hang my coats, and beside my mirror and dresser, is this uh, foldable table. So, this is where I keep my monitor, which I use for shooting, and my facial steamer. I love this. Love, love, love. And then my lotions, and then my facial brush. Um, aroma oil, which I put into the humidifier, and this uh, Laneige lip mask, which I don't use anymore because it's not effective sa akin. But I just keep it there. Papa mige ko na rin lang yan before leaving Japan. And then, yeah, so itong table na to, pag hindi ako nag shoot, nandyan siya. But when I shoot, nilalagay ko siya doon with the monitor. And last but not the least is my balcony area. watching until the end. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. While you're at it, please click on the bell button as well so that you'll get notified whenever I upload videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!